Cisco Identity Services Engine, certificate signed by an internal Microsoft CA. So we have certificate authority running in our environment. We're gonna go ahead to administration certificates. We're gonna click trusted certificates. And the goal here is now to import the trusted root CA certificate from our Microsoft certificate authority. So let's go ahead to cert serve so the ip address slash cert serve we're going to go ahead and download the ca certificate go ahead and hit download and we can see it's downloaded now we can go back to ice we can go to import we can choose the file and select it and give this a friendly name and we can see there's a couple options here, right? Trusted, uh, trust for authentication within ICE. That's really our focus here. Um, but there's some other capabilities that you can come in later on, um, check them if you decide to, to leverage the, the, those capabilities as well. So we'll go ahead and hit submit. And if we scroll down, we can see our root CA. It's in there, it's good. We see the expiry date, it's enabled, perfect. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is, well, we can come back and edit. Remember I said that you can come back and, and add these features later. This is how you would do it. You would just click on that uh, certificate, go ahead and edit it, and then add the services that you want to enable. Again, we're not gonna enable any additional services, but that's how you would do it. Let's go over to certificate signing requests. We're going to create a, a CSR that we're going to sign with our um, Microsoft certificate authority. So the node's going to be ICE. Check that. We'll go ahead and fill in the details here. Engineering, Cisco Labs. Put in our city, state, country, and go ahead and hit generate. Everything else is good. And we'll say export. So we'll go ahead and open that. We'll copy the contents. And let's go back to our certificate CA. We're gonna request an advanced certificate. Now this certificate template has just got um, server and client authentication assigned to it. So I took the web template in Microsoft, copied it and just added the extensions. Now go ahead and download the certificate. Also, I've got some other videos that you can see uh, that step-by-step -step as well. Go ahead and rename this once we download it. Looks good to me. And I'll go back and rename the other one as well just so I don't lose sight of which is which. Close that out, we'll go back to Identity Services Engine. We'll go back and bind the certificate now to the CSR. So go ahead and choose the file. Hit open. We're going to use this for PX Grid at this point. And we'll hit submit. And it's just giving us a, uh, a warning about the validity period is longer than 398 days. Um, we're good in this case. So we'll go ahead and hit yes. That'll save out and that's really it. That's all we have to do in the next video. We'll enable PX grid services and we'll do some integration with firepower as well. But now we've got the certificates in place. Everything looks good. We've got our um, certificate specifically assigned to PX grid and here's the details here. Pretty easy, no magic, click, click, click and you're done.